So how does the plumbing look? You know, I gotta be honest with you, it is not looking good. If you want my professional opinion, you have got to replace the foundation really, really soon. Otherwise, you're looking at all kinds of problems. I mean, it'll hold for a while, but once it breaks, you're looking at, wait, 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 you're saying it will hold for a while longer? Well, yes, the, the problems won't be immediate, but look, if you just upgrade to the new and far superior solution, I mean, if we knew what we know now, just years ago, you wouldn't be in this situation, but back then, we didn't know that this stuff was gonna happen, you know, now we do. Just, look, it won't take long, it won't cost you very much, yes, there will be a period of readjustment to the new, but it is better, you're not losing anything by upgrading. How can you be so sure that these problems you're talking of won't last? Well, I've already upgraded other houses, and their foundation is now fine. I mean, yes, there were some troubles early on, but actually the people are happier with what they have now. Well, I choose not to believe that these problems will stop. Why? I mean, in the face of overwhelming evidence, experience, why? Because God is infinite and that proves that some things can go on forever. But you've never seen God, you've never seen any evidence of anything being infinite. I mean, life is born, it lives, it dies, and then the next generation comes along. We've yet to see anything infinite. Ah, but the sun is infinite. Actually, scientists say that eventually it will. Ah, scientists. That's hereditary. You mean heretical? That too. So let me get this straight. You believe that if you deviate in any small way from the way you've been living up until now, you will face eternal punishment? Yes. And this belief is keeping you away from changing your life to something that may very well be better, that has proven to be far better for many others. Absolutely. Okay, I don't actually know very much about psychology, but I still feel pretty confident in diagnosing you with an obsessive compulsive disorder. You hang on to these delusional ideas of yours, and they're preventing you from potentially positive changes to your life. I mean, even if this was a bad thing for you, you could still just change back, but you're unwilling to even consider trying it.